Darren! Right now, I'm a VP at Essence Nation, leading some really exciting campaigns. Yeah, that's cool. But I also see here that you only spent five months at Shia Day. What happened here? Essence Nation was closer to home. My wife, she just had a baby, so it was a blessing being able to cut that commute down. Yeah, but still, I'm surprised that you would leave one of the big dogs to go to a small firm. You know how it is for us of those big firms? It's not always better. But at Essence Nation, I'm working on campaigns on a level I had never done before. Well, what are we talking? Gas station ads. Actually, it was the Kaiser Permanente campaign with Regina King. You did that? Hey, how did mm -hmm. I not know that, man? You are the reason that I'm drinking more water. Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of campaigns. It's hard to keep track of them all. No, I should know what my fellow black ad execs are doing. You know, what is happening to me? You know, one ding on you from the white man, and I was convinced that I shouldn't give you this job. Hell, you were here 15 minutes early, and I judged you for having that kind of free time. Excuse me? Hell, I was scrutinizing you more because I assumed you only did commercials where they rap about McNuggets. It's no wonder I don't know any black execs. Hell, I'm too busy second-guessing whether they deserve to be here. Hey, you know what? That's gonna stop today. Brother, this job is yours. I would love to have you on the team. Actually, I think I'm gonna stay at the Wrapping Nugget place, but thank you. Okay, hey, hey, Darren, wait, wait a minute, bro. Do you know what four brothers could do at this place? I probably shouldn't have been in here for that. <sighs> While I was letting a black protege slip through my fingers at work like sand, Bo was trying to pressure one into a Dr. Diamond. I found the letter that I was telling you about. That's it. And also, I remembered another med school story about perseverance. It was my birthday, and the chief resident had just told me that my gorgeous braids we're unprofessional. Okay, Dr. Johnson, can we have a heart-to-heart? -heart? Oh, uh, yes, please. You're telling me all these stories like they're funny, fond memories. Uh-huh. But they're horrible. Oh, no. No, it's just from a different time. You don't get it. That is textbook minimizing, Dr. Johnson. You needed that defense mechanism to get you through years of abuse. Abuse? <laughs> this is not abuse. It was character building. It's why I'm the strong woman that I am today. You shouldn't have to beat a person down to make them strong. Well, on the other hand, tough love works. You know, my dad has been rough on me and I'm great, right? You've had to put up with a lot of crap to get to where you are, Dr. Johnson. Yeah. But you shouldn't have had to. Come on, if I hadn't, then it would have been worse for all of the black women that came behind me. Don't you ever wonder who you could have been if you didn't have to also fight this other fight? No, they were just trying Dr. to- Dr. Johnson. Okay, if the- Rainbow. Okay. <sighs> oh my God. Oh, the pizza rolls are ready. Why did you do that? You could have been her favorite daughter. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I'll just, I'm gonna... I'm gonna read my letter. Okay. <laughs> Tears are coming, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna... You go, yeah, take, no, take, do you, take your time. 